What if I tell you that hacking in 2026 is no longer done mainly by humans? What if the real power is not the hacker, but the machine working behind the screen? Today, hacking has changed completely. Before, hackers needed deep knowledge, long experience, and many years of practice. They had to remember commands, tools, and techniques. One small mistake could break everything. But now, something else is entering the game. Today, there are intelligent systems that can understand simple English, think step-by-step, step, and complete tasks without stopping. They don't get tired. They don't panic. They don't feel fear. Once they start working, they keep going. Most people think AI is only for chatting, images, or entertainment. That idea is dangerous and wrong. In reality, AI is already being used in cybersecurity, digital attacks, and defense systems. Some attacks today are faster and smarter, not because humans became better, but because machines are thinking for them. In this video, I'm going to show you this hidden side of AI. Not fake stories, not movies, real systems that already exist. But before revealing what these AIs are, you must understand why they were created. Before going into the video, make sure to subscribe my channel and watch this video till the end. So, let's get into the video soon. In the past, hacking was fully a human job. Hackers had to type commands, look for weak points, test systems, and fix mistakes. But humans have limits. We get tired. We forget steps. We make errors. We need breaks. Machines don't. Machines can work nonstop, never forget, and never get distracted. As technology grew, systems became bigger and more complex. Companies now have thousands of servers, millions of users, and updates every day. Protecting or attacking these systems manually became too slow. Hackers needed something faster. That's where automation started. At first, people used simple scripts, then more advanced tools, then full frameworks. Even frameworks were limited. They still needed humans to think, plan, and guide them. Then AI came in. AI systems can read instructions in plain English, break big problems into smaller steps, and complete tasks automatically. They can check results, correct mistakes, and continue working without human supervision. One person controlling an AI can now do the work of a full hacking team. This is why hacking is changing forever. It's no longer only about skill. It's about who controls machines that can think, plan, and act. Humans alone cannot keep up anymore. Now that you understand why, it's time to meet the first AI in this new world. Shell GPT is an AI that lives inside the command line. Instead of remembering long commands or searching the internet every time, a user can simply type what they want in normal English. The AI then suggests the command or code that can do the job. This saves time and reduces confusion, especially for people who work with terminals every day. For ethical hackers and security testers, many tasks are repetitive. Checking system information, reviewing logs, fixing small errors, or writing quick scripts can take time. Shell GPT helps speed up these daily tasks. It acts like a smart assistant that understands what you are trying to do and responds quickly. But here is the important part. Shell GPT does not understand right or wrong. It only tries to answer the request. If someone asks for something dangerous, it may still suggest a command that can harm a system. That is why professionals never trust it blindly. They always review what it suggests before running anything. Security teams use Shell GPT inside safe environments like virtual machines. They limit its access and monitor its use. Used correctly, it improves productivity. 
Used carelessly, it can create serious damage. Shell GPE itself is not evil. The danger comes from speed and blind trust. This AI shows how simple English can now control powerful systems. And this is just the beginning. The next AI does not just help. It thinks and works on its own. Auto GPT is very different from normal AI helpers. Instead of asking it many small questions, you give it one big goal and it works on its own. It decides what steps to take, checks results, fixes mistakes, and continues without waiting for you. Imagine telling it, collect information about the system and make a report. The AI will figure out each step by itself. It can organize tasks, repeat steps if needed, and even correct errors it finds along the way. It does not need humans to tell it exactly what to do at every stage. This is very powerful and also risky. If the instructions are not clear, AutoGPT can repeat actions endlessly. If it has too much access, it can open files or data it shouldn't. If it connects to the internet, it can trust wrong information and make mistakes. That's why security experts never let it run without limits. They use virtual machines, time limits, restricted access, and constant monitoring. AutoGPT shows the future of automation. Tasks that would take a team of people can now be done by one person controlling a self-thinking AI. This is exciting for ethical work, but terrifying in the wrong hands. And now imagine this type of thinking combined with hacking knowledge. That's where the next AI comes in. Hacking GPT is an AI built to think like a hacker. Unlike general AI assistance, it focuses on security, vulnerabilities, and attack logic. It can suggest ways systems might be weak, explain how attacks happen, and even simulate test attacks in a safe environment. For ethical hackers and security teams, this is extremely useful. They can see potential risks before a real attacker finds them. It helps build stronger systems, train new hackers safely, and plan defenses. But here's the scary part. The same AI could be used by someone with bad intentions. Because it packages knowledge about hacking in an easy-to-understand way, even a beginner could use it to generate ideas for attacks. That lowers the skill barrier and increases danger. That is why experts treat it carefully. Hacking GPT should always be used in controlled environments, with rules and monitoring. Every suggestion it gives must be reviewed by humans. It should never have unrestricted access to real systems or sensitive information. Hacking GPT shows one important truth. AI doesn't choose sides. It doesn't know right or wrong. Humans decide whether it is used for good or bad. And after this, we will see the AI that hides its work and becomes invisible, making it even harder to detect. Code Obfuscator GPT is an AI made to hide code logic. The program still works the same, but reading and understanding it becomes very hard. Names are changed. Structure is broken into confusing parts. Extra code is added that does nothing important. To a human reader, it looks messy and unclear. This idea is not new. Developers have used code hiding for years to protect their software from being copied or stolen. But AI changed everything. What once took hours of manual work can now be done in seconds. AI can rewrite the same code again and again, each time in a different hidden form. For companies, this can protect intellectual property. For defenders, it shows how attackers may hide malicious behavior. Security teams have already seen real threats where AI rewritten code was used to avoid detection. The code looks harmless at first glance, but the behavior tells the real story. Because of this, modern security no longer depends only on reading code. Defenders watch how programs behave when running. They look at network activity, file changes, and memory actions. Behavior cannot hide forever. 
Code Obfuscator GPT itself is not evil. It is a tool. But when hiding becomes easy and automatic, attackers gain an advantage. AI can generate many hidden versions quickly, making detection harder. This AI teaches an important lesson. In 2026, what you see is not always what the code is doing. AI is no longer just a helper, it is a thinker, a planner, a worker. In 2026, hacking is not about typing fast or memorizing commands anymore. It's about understanding how intelligent systems work and how they can be controlled. These AIs can protect systems, test security, and make the digital world safer. But in the wrong hands, they can also scale attacks faster than ever before. The truth is simple. AI itself is not the enemy. Ignorance is. If you want to survive in cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or even basic IT, you must learn how these systems think, because the future will not wait for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos like this. We will meet again soon. Goodbye for now.